This, which you just read, is from the Holy Quran. Oh my God. Did you know that 90% of Christians know nothing about Islam? And the little that they do know come from hate preachers like these. Ugh. We got a lot of work to do. So I thought of a devious plan. I'm going to take the Holy Quran, then disguise it as the Bible, and then read it to Christians. Uh, yes? Why would you even do such a thing? Huh. I'm glad you asked. As a Christian, you might not be open to sincerely listening to the verses of the Quran because of past biases, and you might feel like maybe this guy is trying to convert you. But by disguising the Quran as the Bible, you are lowering their defenses, and now without them even knowing it, they're becoming more open about learning about Islam. I'm sorry, but this has to be by far the most genius social experiment idea you've ever had. Great job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. But first, we had to go to a church and find Christians so that we can understand what they actually believe in. Hello, my friend. Could you tell me why is it that you put the candles? What's it for? Well, you have to last one minute. Sister, hello. How are you? I saw you were praying over there, yes? Yes, I seen that you were so deeply invested in your prayer. No, no Eng uh, English. Okay, okay. Don't worry. God bless you, okay? Well, check this out, the, the offering thing. Get the offerings, like large light offering, put a dollar in. I know you have a candle as well. Yeah. You're about to light one too? Yeah. What, what's the reason behind it? Um, for me, it's a connection. Mm -hmm. It's For me, it's a connection to the spirit mm. world, mm -hmm. to the other realm, mm. to, um, to bring peace on both sides. Wow. If you don't mind me asking, what is your intention today for lighting this candle? Um, it's more of oh. a peace. Peace. Mind, mm -hmm. spiritual, mental, physical. Mm -hmm. Wow. As we learn more about Christians, I became curious in understanding the value and importance that they held for prayer. Just asking the people the importance of prayer. Would you mind just saying a few words of why prayer is important to you? You, you don't, but that's a part of the answer then, that's okay. What is your method of prayer? Like, how do you pray? Well, I always start by asking God for forgiveness. Good. For the sins Beautiful. Done, and then Beautiful. I, you know, give Him all my problems. When was the last time you think you prayed? Uh, it's okay. I remember. Really? Uh, I pray to myself, to God, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Before I go to sleep. Got you. Before my sister passed away recently. And, wow, subhanAllah. Yeah, so, thank wow. you. So um, it's very important though, but not 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 most of us. Not most. Like, of um, but you believe there's a creator. You believe in that. I believe so. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah. It has to be. How did this all come about? Unless there's yeah, a creator. Exactly. Well, what's something that you're praying for right now? That something's important well, to you guys. Asking for forgiveness and yeah. mm -hmm. to, for better prosperity and you know, to yes. Continue. Yes. Like, I don't know. Asking him for like stuff I can't control in my in my own will. Yes. Um. It's very important. Mm -hmm. My grandmother put the mustard seed in me since I was young. I used to go to um, prayer school in the morning. Mm -hmm. For me, it's a connection. Mm -hmm. It's for me, it's a connection to the spirit mm -hmm. world, mm -hmm. to the other realm, mm -hmm. to, to bring peace on both sides. Wow! In my heart, gotcha. In their soul, gotcha. So who's there? Who's their soul? You're talking about? Um, it could be. Christ. It could be okay. whoever you believe in. It could be your ancestors. It could be a spirit. So could guide. it be like a grandparent? Could it be like could a father, be, like yes. a parent or something like that? Yes, when I'm in distress. I think of my grandfather a lot. Wow. When was the last time you prayed? I pray every day. Pray every day? What's on your mind when you pray? I don't know. I just ask for blessing. yeah. blessings. Blessings. Yeah, of course, for the family. Yes, very important. Because we know all the blessings come from God. Yeah, of course. Yes? When was the last time you prayed? Uh, like two days ago. Two days ago. Yeah. What was on your mind and your heart? What was, why? Maybe yeah, because times, uh, hard times, you know. Yeah, uh, yes. It's, Bad, you know? It's bad because we have to make time for God, yeah. right? Because God gave us everything, right? He gave you the money to buy this, the money to have this, but if this distracts us from God, that's no good. Now the stage was set and it was time for us to run our social experiment. Will these Christians be touched by these verses of the Quran, seeing its beauty and the similarities that it has to their text, 
Or will they immediately detect that these verses are not from the Bible and dismiss the Quran completely? Let's find out. Let me ask you, what's your relationship with the Bible? How well do you know the Bible? Not that well? What about you? Same? Honestly, I really don't know much about the Bible. Really? I don't read the wow. Bible. Really? So you've read the Bible? Yeah, my sister's a pastor. Wow, wonderful, yeah, wonderful. Been on five years. It's no, it's not. It's not that strong? No. Not that strong? None. Really? None. Really? Um, I was trying to learn the Quran. Really? Yeah, I got the Quran in my house. Wow. No, yeah. You don't, you don't read the Bible much? No. No? So here's what I'm doing. I want to give you a chance over here really quick. I'm going to read a verse to you. You have to guess where it's from. Okay, no. you have to guess. I'm going to give you some options, multiple choice, okay. but you have to guess. Okay, okay. I'm going to give you multiple choice. Okay, this is what Jesus said. Indeed, I am the servant of God. He has given me the scripture and he has made me a prophet. And he has made me blessed wherever I am. And he is enjoined upon me to pray to God and the charity as long as I'm alive. And he has made me good to my mother, dutiful to my mother. And he has not made me from someone who is mean or aggressive to people. He's made me soft. And peace be on the day I was born. Peace be on the day I die. And peace be on the day I'm resurrected. This is Jesus, the son of Mary. The word of truth about what they dispute. It does not befit God to take a son. Exalted is he, meaning he's so great. When he declares a matter, he says, be and it is. So I want to ask you, my friend, where is this verse from? Is it from A, John? Is it from B, Matthew? Is it from C, Mark? Is it from D, Luke? Or is it from E, none of the above? I think it's B. B, Matthew. Matthew. Yeah. What makes you feel that? I don't know, maybe uh, I, this is some, some recycled life. Yes, Matthew. it's a powerful verse, right? This is very powerful, it's a yeah. good verse, right? Yeah. This is about the birth of Jesus yeah. and a miracle that he performed when Jesus was in the baby, like in the cradle. She point Mary, the mother points to him, and Jesus speaks. That's his first miracle that he done. I'm sorry, Matthew is not the answer. Uh, Do you know what it is? What is it's E, none of the above. None of the above? Yes. Do you know where it's from? What, what, what? This, my friend, is not from the Bible. This is from the Quran. The Quran. This has Jesus, Mary, everyone in this book as well too. This is the last and final verbatim word of God, my friend. The last one. Yeah. No other book has been sent after this. This is the final one. Never been changed, never been altered, ever. Still the same thing in this original one, okay? So I want to give this to you as a gift. Do you prefer Spanish or English? Spanish. Spanish. This is a Quran, a gift from me to you. Enjoy that. This is just one of the thousands of Qur'ans that we've given out absolutely for free. We want every home in North America to have a Qur'an so that we can educate the world about Islam. Why you ask? Because my name is SQ and I'm a serial da'wah giver. Also because the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Islam will enter every home. So I want Allah to use us to make the hadith into a reality. We want to ship a free translation of the Quran into every home in North America and have set a goal of 100,000 Qurans this Hijri year. It's only $5 to ship a free translation of the Quran across America and we desperately need your help to make this dream come true. So click the link below or in the pinned comment and help spread this deen into every household. Beautiful verses, yes, beautiful verses yeah, about Jesus. Check. Do you understand yet? That's how far I have been away from the scriptures. So, so I don't what do you think? Is it Luke chapter 2? Is it Matthew chapter 4? I'm going to tell you. Mark? I don't know anything about those chapters. Nothing? I don't know nothing about Really? It. Yeah. What about E? None of the above? None. Uh, I don't, I couldn't answer. You, you don't even I'll know. give you because I don't have a wow. the right answer. Well, the answer is none of the above because it's what to you alluded to early. This, my friend, is actually the Holy Quran. All right. <laughs> I got that. I'm trying to learn it because I, I like it. I, my, my brother. I love the prayer. Alhamdulillah. I wanted to change, but um, mm. you get the certain conditions that you have to meet. Like what? Uh, well, stay or pray five times a day, I believe. Okay. Uh, stay away from food, certain foods. Well, like pork. Pork and then uh, drugs and all that stuff. Okay, you know? but that that obviously takes time. God is not asking you to time, do that. Yeah, but you for need a day. to stay away from that. Well, isn't? Let me ask you this: Isn't God worth? 
sacrificing yes, for? Absolutely. Right, okay. So but our drugs take over. I understand. Our lives. Our, 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 our desires take over, our right? Desires, exactly. Our desire to do something that God might not approve of, right. but that's God's test, right? Yeah. This is a sign from God Almighty for you to continue to learn more. Take this, my brother. Oh, that's for you. you. That's for you. Thank you, brother. Let's go next. Let's go next. Let's go next. Thank Let's you. Go. For your you already know. Next. And God bless you. Up, Thank you, my brother. Thank God bless you. you. Was it beautiful verses, right? About yeah. Jesus' birth, right? Yeah. Jesus is being born. Beautiful verse. And look, he performed a miracle. He was in the choir. They're like, how can we speak to a baby? And then Jesus speaks. Wow. Big miracle. Yeah. You believe in Jesus, yes? Yeah, of course. I believe in Jesus as well. So tell me, Matthew, Mark, John, Luke, or none of the above? <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. Yeah, I don't take a know. guess, take a guess. Maybe Matthew. Maybe Matthew. Maybe. I'm sorry, man. That's not the correct answer, unfortunately. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Well, Can I tell you? No. Can I tell you where yeah, it's from? Of course, of course. The answer is E, none of the above. Okay. Okay? This, my friend, is not the Bible. This, my friend, is the Holy Quran. Okay, perfect. Yes. The Quran is the last and final scripture sent to mankind. This is the text of the Muslims. Okay. Uh -huh. And the Muslims believe in Jesus. Okay. We believe in the Virgin Mary. We believe Jesus is the Messiah. We believe in everything, my brother. But we do not believe that Jesus is God. We believe God is God. You understand? Okay. The Father God, He's God. Okay. And we believe that Jesus is a messenger of God. He's a prophet of God. Okay? I know that. Yes. Of course, yes. it has to be that. It has to be that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. You have to be different person. Yes, because God is God. Yeah, of course. And Jesus and is send, a messenger. Uh, yeah, send someone. Yes. To show how. Yes. Us Yes, yeah. how to worship God. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so Jesus did that. Moses did that. You know these names, right? Yeah, Abraham yeah, did that. Yeah. And the last and final prophet, Muhammad, peace be upon him, who this book was revealed to. Because you know the Bible has been changed, unfortunately. Yeah. The Bible has been changed. But this is only one version, my friend. There is no other version than this. This is only one. 114 chapters locked in, preserved for all of eternity, my friend. So for us, this is a gift from us to you, my brother. A Quran in English. That's okay, a gift. perfect. Thank you. My brother, I'm God bless you. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. Inshallah, God, God willing. You know why? Because only God can guide you. I can't guide you. Yeah, only I'm God can guide you. So you have to ask God. Say, God, if you wanted me to read this, open the doors for you. Make it easy for me. Yes? Thank you. God bless you, my brother. Have a good day. Thank you, Thank Caesar. You. Take care. God bless you, Caesar. Take care. I want to play a game with you where I read a verse from the Bible. And I want you to see, can you guess where the verse is from? Okay? And I'm going to give you options. Okay, Bismillah. Okay, let me read the verse for you right now, okay? This verse is about the Virgin Mary. And mention when the angel said, O Mary, the Virgin Mary, yes? Indeed, God has chosen you and purified you and chosen you above the women of the world. O Mary, be devoutly obedient to your Lord and prostrate and bow with those who bow, okay? This is from the news of the unseen which we revealed to you. And you were not with them when they casted their pens as to which of them should be responsible for Mary. Nor were you with them when they disputed. Because when Mary was born, her mom put her in this uh, separate uh, apartment. Or yeah, oh, okay. Don't mess it up. Hold on. Okay. You're close though. Okay. 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 And when the angel said, Oh, Mary, indeed, God gives you good tidings of a word from him whose name will be the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary. Distinguish in this world and the hereafter amongst those brought near to God. He will speak to the people in the cradle and in maturity and will be of the righteous. She said, the Virgin Mary, my Lord, how will I have a child when no man has touched me? The angel said, such is God. He creates what he wills. When he decrees a matter, he only says be and it is. And he will teach him writing and wisdom. God will teach Jesus writing and wisdom and the Torah and the gospel. Okay, I'll stop right over here for you. You're already giving me some guesses. I'll give you some uh, choices, okay? Is it Luke chapter 2? Is it B, Matthew chapter 4? Is it C, Mark chapter 1? Is it D, John chapter 3? Or is it E, none of the above? John. John. What makes you think that? It, it, it hit home. It hit home. It hit home. What, what do you think about this verse? It's a beautiful verse about the Virgin it Mary. It sounds to me like a story that someone was saying. Um, in third person, mm -hmm. like a proverb, but I'm yes. not too close mm -hmm. on um, exact stories mm -hmm. of the men in the Bible. No problem, but no I problem. But I know general, like, um, what's in the first um, testament, the new and the old, you know? Yes. And, um, 
So which one do you think it might be? I think it's John. I think it's John? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You ready for the big reveal? Yeah. You're actually wrong, I'm sorry. Ooh. It's not. Would you like to know? Yeah. It was E, none of the above. Ooh. Yeah. You want to know where it's from? Okay, let me show you. The Quran? The Quran. Okay. Did you know that the story of Mary, the Virgin Mary, peace and blessed be upon her, and the story of Jesus is mentioned in the Quran? Did you know about this? No. Wow. I like Muslim. Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum my sister. So look, this what I just read from you. You admitted it was a beautiful verse. It was a beautiful verse. And then when you said none of the above, I was like, it could be none of the above. When I say none of the above, it's to let you know that these are from the teachings of the Quran. So it was a beautiful verse like you admitted, yes? And this is from the Quran. And what we would like for you to do is to continue to urge you to educate yourself and learn more about these beautiful verses because a lot of times our Christian brothers and sisters, unfortunately, are taught something wrong about Islam and the Quran and Muslims and what we want to do is we want to eliminate that type of behavior and tell you that look we actually have the same revelation that you the mosque yes yes I go there all the time. alhamdulillah I say hello to all of them. yes yes I, they actually help me more than a Puerto Rican does subhanallah because it's in our faith and our yeah. belief system to help yeah, it's an article of our faith and, 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 and. this is a gift from me to you that's for you. That's a Quran. That's a holy Quran from us to you. And inshallah, you get to learn more of the beauty of Islam. And you learn that we have a lot more in common than we have in differences. Thank you for telling yes? me. Yes. What do you guys think about that verse? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It makes you want to read more. Yeah. Right? Fair. Yeah, okay. Yes, yes, and it's talking about how, how when Jesus performed any miracles, he did it with God's permission, not on his own. Okay. Is it from A, Luke, chapter 2? B, Matthew? chapter 4 C Mark chapter 1 D John chapter 3 or E none of the above none of the above interesting what about you guys Matthew maybe what about you Mark Mark okay so we have Matthew we have Mark none of the above what led you to say none of the above I don't know you're just like it's none of these yeah. right maybe I'm trying to trick you guys yeah. okay well look look I'm gonna be honest with you guys it is E, it's none of the above. He was right, he was right, he was right. But for a guy, what's your name, by the way? Angel. Angel, nice to meet you. SQ, what's your name? Justin. Justin, nice to meet you. SQ, what's your name? Steve. Steven, nice to meet you. SQ, okay. You're right, it is none of the above. Because, my friends, this which you just read is from the Holy Quran. Did you know about that? Ah. Did you know that in the Quran, Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, is mentioned like you just read. Mary, the Virgin Mary, is mentioned in the Quran, just like you guys read. The reason we're doing this, we're making a YouTube video called Disguising the Quran as the Bible. So that we could teach people, our Christian brothers and sisters, that look, there's a lot more in common that we have over here. You get what I mean? There's a lot more that we have in common. But unfortunately, the media gives you the wrong impression of what Muslims are, what Islam is, and who the Prophet was, so on and so forth. So this is why we're doing a social experiment today, which you guys did. How shocked are you that it's the Quran, not the Bible? Well, kinda, yeah, I'm not really a Christian. I just believe in God. You just believe in God? Yeah. You believe in the oneness of God yeah, by itself? Yeah, I just yes. believe there's a higher power. There's a higher power. I'm not really much religious. Got you. So I, but I do believe there's always a higher power. Of course, there. of course. What do you guys believe? Yeah, it's kind of the yeah. same thing. And this is what you guys know, so this is what you guys do. Yeah, you, you get what I'm saying? Look, in Islam, we believe, so everything you just read right now, Jesus is a messenger of God. We believe in Jesus. We believe him to be a messenger of God, meaning he was born of the Virgin Mary. Born. God cannot be born. Because you see, if God is born, then he dies. Okay. Now, maybe he's God's son, right? Maybe God has an actual son. We believe as Muslims that we are all the children of God metaphorically, meaning because God made us, yeah. metaphorically we're children, yeah, yeah, but we're not his actual yeah. children because God doesn't take children. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. God is one and alone. There is nothing on like to God whatsoever. It is only God alone in his sovereignty. He does not ask permission from anyone before he creates something like we read in that verse. All he says be and it is. This is what, this is what he says. And what the most important part of the Verses. Indeed, this is a sign for you if you are a believer. If you're someone who believes in God Almighty, this is a sign for you, right? And he, and it says, and I, Jesus, confirming what was before me in the Torah and make lawful of you what was forbidden. So indeed, worship God, Allah, He is my Lord and your Lord, so worship Him alone. That is the straight path. So look, I'm not here to comment on why people are lighting candles up. That's your prerogative. Do what you, what you do. But before you do anything, ask yourself this one question. Did Jesus do it? 
If Jesus didn't do it, do it 10 times more. But if Jesus didn't do it, how are you doing something that he never taught you? If he is your teacher, if he is your master, if he is supposed to be your Lord, your God, your savior and everything, then everything you do should match what he did. Does that make sense, what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? So you, you get what I mean? Look, with all due respect, do it, that's okay. But anything that you do should be like, okay, can you show me in the Bible where uh, Jesus told us to light a candle? Just show, just show me where he told us to do that, right? Because if not, then you are innovating in your religion. You are creating new things in your religion. And that is against the religion. Right down there, it says the Ten Commandments. It says it. It says, oh Israel, thou know no God but me. There's no other God but me. Do you understand? And Jesus is not claiming to be God himself. Jesus is telling you that he is a messenger of God. So look, I'll leave you guys. I appreciate the time. This is a gift from me to you, if that's okay with you. This is the Quran. I have a Quran for you guys as well too, my friends. As well as an English translation. There's only one version of this. There is not multiple, like the Bible has multiple versions. Yeah, there's a lot of versions. Only one. This is a translation of the Quran in English. This is not the Quran. The Quran is preserved in the Arabic language, fully preserved, never been changed, never been altered. Scientific miracles. We believe in Jesus, peace and blessed be upon him. Jesus said, and you will know them by their fruit. The fruit that we have to offer, my friends, are godly like fruit. These are the same fruits that Jesus said. And he said that you will know if they're from me if they confess that he is the Christ. We believe he is the Christ. We believe he is the Messiah. You understand? We believe he will be coming back. So this is the verbatim word of God. And this is a gift from us to you. Yes? Justin. Yes? Steve. Yes? Appreciate you, my guy. Appreciate you. Lots of love. This is going to be on my YouTube channel. What's, What's up, your YouTube channel? It's called Way of Life SQ. Check it out when you can. Way of life. Something like that. Check it out when you guys can. All right, God bless you. Just drive safely, okay? God bless you guys. Take care. Here's some options. Is it from A, Luke, chapter 2? No, it's not from anyone. Where is it from? It's from him through you to me. Wow. But I'm reading it from this book. No, I know that. Yes. But it's much deeper for me right now. Really? Wow. Why, why would you say that? Because when I came here, I was confused. What were you confused about, sister? about your life. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. You want to go sit in the shade for a second? Come just sit in the shade for a second. Tell me, what is it that you're confused about? Tell us. What is the righteous path? What is the righteous path? Who do you believe in? Who do you believe in? Um, I dibbled and dabbled in some stuff that I'm not very proud of. Okay. And I don't think that I should have. Okay. And you just confirmed to me that it is only the Lord Yes. Who can take you out of whatever you're going through? Absolutely. No candle work, no, no. spiritual work. Wow. No spells. Absolutely. Nothing but Absolutely. the Lord. Absolutely. But the Lord. But the Lord. Okay. Now, I want to go back to this because it's very important that you said that. That you said that God delivered this message uh, through me to you. And I agree with that message. We are all the messengers of the messenger. Right? We're all the messenger of the messenger himself. Yeah. Okay. I do want to give you some options though. And I want you to take a guess. Okay. Luke chapter 2. I won't even go to the verse. Okay. I'll just give you some names. Matthew chapter 4. Mark chapter 1. John chapter 3. Or E, none of the above. I don't think it's any of the above, is it? Why? Because they came after. They did. They came after. And they were not messengers of God. They were not prophets, they were disciples. Yes. You get me? A prophet of God is someone who God inspires directly through the angel. You're right, it is E, none of the above. Do you know where it's from? Let's take a look at this, right? Oh my God. <laughs> wow, subhanAllah. This is, subhanAllah, astaghfirullah. This is my sister from the Holy Quran. This is from the Holy Quran. Isn't that something? What, what had you so emotional about this right now, sister? Hi. I've been trying to read um, how to Get rid of like the evil eye. The yes. Thing, yes. The thing. And yes. I just came in there and I asked them. Yeah. What candle can I? Yes. Light up. To get rid of evil eye and stuff. Yes. And what did they tell you? To light up a white candle. Mm-hmm. Because I have a black one burning at me. Mm-hmm. 
because I have dibbled and dabbled and stuff that I shouldn't have. Well, my sister, here's one thing you have to remember. God Almighty, Allah, is the most forgiving. He forgives you and He takes all of your sins that you've done and He converts them into good deeds for you. Not only does He forgive you of those sins, but He takes those mountains of bad deeds that we've done and He forgives you and converts them into good deeds for you. My sister, think about this. Think about this for a second, right? Someone told you, light a white candle, maybe a black candle, maybe a red candle, I don't know. The question is this, did Jesus teach us to light a white candle? If the answer is no, shouldn't we practice what he is teaching right over here? What did he say? It is who will clear the, the blind through God's permission. Who healed the leper through God's permission. Jesus, peace and blessed be upon him, always related back to God Almighty, my sister, because he was a messenger of God. You understand? This words I just read from you are directly from the third chapter of the Holy Quran. Okay? So I haven't made up anything. It's all over here for you to actually even see. We are just actually disguising because a lot of our Christian brothers and sisters don't even know that Muslims believe in Jesus Christ. Peace no, and I know. As a, as a prophet, but not the Son of God. Yes. Because we believe that God Almighty does not have literal physical children. We're all the children of God in the metaphorical sense, right? Like, we're all the children of God as His creation. But we believe we are the servants and slaves of God Almighty. He does not have actual physical, literal children. We believe that Jesus was born of the Virgin Mary, of the miraculous birth. He healed the blind, the sick, the leper, just like they said. He even has a miracle in here that wasn't given to any other, even in the Christian Bible. Jesus has a miracle in the Quran, two miracles here that are not in his book. One, he was able to speak from the cradle. Two, he gave life to a dead bird, to a clay bird, and the bird flew away. That is something that's not even in the Bible, my sister. So you understand, we as Muslims believe in Jesus heavily. We believe he is the Messiah, as you read from this book. Messiah, he is the Christ. But we are today, we're filming a YouTube video where we're disguising the Quran as the Bible. Bible. Yes, and we're trying to have our Christian brothers and sisters see the beauty of this text that no one should be afraid of it. Rather, you should embrace it because this is the last and final revelation given to mankind. You understand? So look, my sister, I know you have a heavy heart right now. And look, everything comes from God. This was a sign from God as well too, yes? So I would ask, what is it that God wants to communicate to me? What is He trying to tell me? That should we be leaning towards these candles and these waters, or is He testing us to see will we get closer to Him? You see? And of course, He wanted you to have this. This is for you, my sister, okay? God bless you, my sister, and may the Almighty protect you and preserve you, do you understand? Let me tell you something, my sister. Uh, lighting up candles are not from the teachings of Jesus, from Moses, from Prophet Abraham, from Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, none of them. These are occultic pagan practices, with all due respect, mm -hmm. okay? There is nothing about it that is, it is, this is another form of witchcraft. It's another form of it. It's just disguised as white magic, not black magic, mm -hmm. do you understand? So one thing that we have to remember is, my sister, is that the more we rely on God Almighty, the more of uh, His miracles we will see. So my sister, my advice to you is to continue to ask God God Almighty, you said you wanted a sign. He responds to those who call upon Him. So my sister, call upon your Lord. Ask Him, say, oh God Almighty, guide me to the straight path. And I believe my sister, He's already started that process. Okay? God bless you. Thank have you. a beautiful blessing. This is your bottle and have a blessed day. Okay, my sister? God bless you. Take care.